So let me ask you this. Do you want your landing page's average conversion rate to be here, here, or here? If you chose the average of 1.84% conversion rate, then maybe this isn't the video for you. But if you do aim to be in the top 10% and have a high converting landing page, then you might want to stick around because I have some fire tips for you. Hello again and welcome to the second video in our landing page saga. In our previous video, I discussed the top 10 issues a landing page has and how to fix them. In this video, I'm gonna give you 7 tips, 7 things you need to know in order to create a high converting landing page. And after I'm done with that, I'm actually gonna give you a foolproof landing page structure and examples of how you can use it. If topics like these are useful and interesting to you, make sure you subscribe. We post new videos weekly, so hit that bell icon as well to be notified when a new video is out. So let's get to it. Here are 7 tips for a high converting landing page. Tip number one, know your audience, like really, really well. Your entire landing page should be created based on who your target customers are, what they're looking for, and what you want them to do once they have arrived on your page. Design and customize the elements in a way that speaks to your intended audience. There's a broad list of things you need to address in this regard, so let's break it down one at a time. First off, start with identifying your lead's position in the sales funnel. This will help you determine how long your landing page should be and the type of offer and messaging you'll present in front of your audience. If your leads are completely unaware of your brand with a low intent to buy, you need to come up with a relatively large landing page with a number of intriguing copies, both educational and informative, to convert your leads to prospects. On the flip side, if you're talking to a pool of people who are well aware of your brand and the solution you offer, it's better to keep your landing page short and simple and only provide your best offers. Next, conduct customer interviews to know your target market better. Address the following questions. Who are your customers? What are their wants and needs? Which demographics do they belong to? Next, figure out your customer's buying behavior. How do your customers come to a purchase decision? Did they research a product before its purchase? If yes, where do they do their research? Do they stop their purchase after a while? What encourages them to start over? What is their trigger point? How can you reach out to them? This is your screenshot moment, by the way, so snap that picture. And finally, identify how your customers can shift your product from that of a competitor. For this part, you'll need to know your competitors as much as you need to know your audience. How saturated is the market you're targeting? What complaints do your customers have about a competitor's product? How do they weigh your products against that of your competitors? The next step to knowing your audience is to understand how they resonate with your landing page. Heat maps and A-B testing can be invaluable assets in this regard. Heat maps accompanied by scroll maps can help you determine how users interact with your page, whether your interface is aligning with your business goals from a consumer perspective, and how it affects consumer behavior. On the other hand, A-B testing can help you identify which web page design and website content grabs more attention and drives higher conversion. Finally, use Google Analytics to monitor the results of your hard work. It's an indispensable tool to help you monitor customer behavior and make informed decisions about your brand. Tip number two, craft content that caters to your visitors. Once you know your audience, the next step is to know how you'll craft your offers and messages. Conversion copywriter Annie McGuire explained this part all the way down to the bottom of the sales funnel in one simple diagram. Understand that your indirect leads have a high chance of bumping into your brand through a sponsored Facebook ad, but they're not actively looking for your solution and don't even know you exist. As a result, it wouldn't make much sense to send them directly to your landing page. Annie explains that you would rather want to send them free tips or offer to subscribe to your newsletter. The goal here is awareness and not conversion. Moving forward, the approach will be different for your direct leads, whom you'd want to send directly to your landing page and convert to active and repeat buyers. To understand where your leads stand in the sales funnel, you need to ask yourselves the following questions. Is my target audience acquainted with my brand? Do my intended customers understand my offering or do I need to explain it to them? How likely are my leads to take action? And how can I differentiate my offerings? What would it take to convert leads into prospects? Addressing these questions is crucial to building a great landing page. Your visitors are sure to make a purchase when your page caters to them in a language they understand. Craft your content in a way that speaks to their problems, eliminates their doubts, and educates them about your solution. Check out social media posts and customer reviews of brands that are offering similar products. Monitor the copies of their top performing posts, identify the gaps, and create an eye-catching copy to make your brand stand out. Notice how Job Board Sheet pulled off the perfect message for its target audience. In a single sentence, they tackled all the objections their customers have. Consumers hate tasks that demand time and energy. With a simple yet straightforward copy, Job Board Sheet assures its customers that it is a one-stop solution for quickly creating a job 
job board website without any hassle. Tip number three, emphasize the value. More often than not, marketers tend to get so distracted by their products and services that they end up annoying their leads with information overload. Okay, if you don't like those bags, then how about these lipsticks? Oh, would you like some scented candles? Yeah, your leads probably don't know all the perks, but at this stage, maybe they don't need to. The point is, you don't need to elaborate on every single feature your brand can possibly offer. Some people will not opt for your product no matter how detailed your offering is. You might as well save your breath. Therefore, keep your content concise and to the point. Create a feature-oriented headline and augment it with a few pointers about your product benefits. Keeping your content focused on the benefits enables visitors to imagine what it'd be like to own your product. Moreover, make sure you're critiquing your own work. Encourage questions and constructive feedback within your team about your design and constantly evaluate how you can improve. A great example here would be Orgain.com. Orgain makes it easy for people to understand the benefits of their products through a few simple bullet points right on their landing page. Tip number four, create a visually appealing page. The average viewer takes five milliseconds to form an opinion of your landing page. This means you essentially have less than a second to create your first impression. And 90% of that first impression has everything to do with how visually appealing your landing page is. Your leads and prospects will subconsciously associate a visually pleasing landing page with quality and professionalism. Similarly, a poorly designed landing page, no matter how educational or informative, will make your viewers question your professionalism and create doubts about the quality of your service, subsequently decreasing their trust in your brand. A good example is from Caraway. They've put their product front, line, and center. For your Shopify store, you could add a variety of visuals, and it could be something as simple as adding an animation to your add a cart button. This subtle animation on a static page can have quite the impact on your audience, leading to increased sales and decreased cart abandonment. Thankfully, there's not much you have to do to make that possible. Using the animated add to cart app and vitals, all you need to do is choose the type of animation you want for your landing page, and we'll handle the rest. Tip number five. Create a specific and value-driven call to action. The call to action or CTA button is perhaps the most powerful element of your landing page. And even though it generally consists of no more than three to four words, it makes all the difference. You'd want your CTA to be clear and noticeable, not at the corner of the page somewhere where it is impossible to spot. Moreover, make sure you use a copy that actually encourages your viewers to take action. The wording is of the utmost importance in this case. Instead of using generic text like click here or buy or whatever, the copy of your CTA CTA should be much more value-driven. You'd want to tell your prospects what's in it for them. Phrase your CTA better, such as get your free ebook, add to cart, save 10%, make a purchase, etc. An intriguing CTA will thus attract your buyer's attention and help you increase conversion rates. Moreover, make sure you only have one CTA on your landing page, be it a newsletter subscription or an add to cart option. Any more than that may hurt your chances of conversion. Studies show that when customers are presented with too many options, they tend to make fewer purchases. Take a look at Simply Business's landing page, for instance. With a clear and concise CTA at the beginning of the page, Simply Business aims to keep things simple for its visitors. Despite being in the insurance industry, this organization doesn't hurl its policies at its audience all at once. Simply Business rather ensures a seamless user experience for its visitors, with a reassuring headline and an intriguing call to action. It isn't until after users click on the CTA that they're introduced to different insurance policies. But Simply Business makes sure that visitors cross that first mental barrier. No wonder it boasts a conversion rate of 62.6%. Tip number six, build credibility and leverage testimonials. While making a purchase, credibility is crucial to customers, more so when it's online. Today's tech-savvy consumers research both the product and the company before they make up their minds. And that is precisely why your brand needs to build that trust factor with its intended audience. We actually have a video all about how psychological principles can increase your conversion rate if you want to check it out. Encourage your customers to leave positive reviews when they're satisfied with your offerings. You can also incentivize satisfied customers by providing them a discount code upon leaving honest feedback. This way, you can leverage pre-existing customers to bring in new ones. The teledentistry company Smile Direct Club followed the same strategy when they backed their page with social proof. With solid reviews from satisfied customers, this business drilled its testimonial game right. In the case of your Shopify store, you can use customizable seals and trust badges to further gain your client's trust. Using the Trust Seals and Badges app and Vitals, you can craft your own badges for your Shopify store. With seven different layouts and 27 different messages for you to choose from, you can modify your badges as you please and let your customers know about payment options, money-back guarantees, shipping, refunds, and more. And tip number seven, provide a simple way for customers to contact you. Your landing page should cater to any query your customers have at any point in time. So besides adding information related to shipping and guarantee, adding a live chat option makes it simple for customers to reach out 
instead of finding your help center and being redirected there. Customers get a sense of assurance when you respond to them immediately. According to Forrester, website visitors engaging in live conversations are 2.8 times more likely to convert to customers than those who don't. You'll find a number of different apps on the Shopify App Store to add a live chat option on your landing page. Fortunately though, you don't have to look far. With the all-in-one chat app in Vitals, your visitors can communicate with you through multiple channels, including but not limited to Facebook Messenger, Instagram, WhatsApp, and Twitter. All you need to do is enable Vitals and add your contact information for the said platform. You can also customize the appearance of the chat bubbles, include background color, animations, and add a welcome message for your visitors. And since I was discussing Vitals, here's your bonus tip. Integrate Vitals within your Shopify store. If you're ready to launch your Shopify store at full force, Vital introduces everything from basic features to apps you didn't think you'd need. Need to convert to local currency? The currency converter is at your disposal. Interested in engaging with your customers in a fun way? Use the Wheel of Fortune and let your customers unlock special discounts. With more than 40 different apps, Vitals is practically all you need to build credibility, increase conversion, and ensure sales. If you need further proof, Simply try for free for 30 days and witness the difference in your Shopify store for yourselves. Alrighty then, now that you understand the basics of a landing page, let's talk a bit about structure. What I'm gonna give you isn't set in stone. Not all landing pages should contain all the sections, so make sure you tailor your landing page based on all the tips I've discussed previously. Here are the sections a landing page should include, and to illustrate them better, I'm going to use the store Judy as an example. First up, we have the hero section. This should include a headline, in a way that sounds on brand and conversational. In addition, you should add a subheading that complements the main headline. Make sure to include the product photo as well, maybe even some social proof. And definitely include pricing and the discounted price if there is one. Next up is the why section. Literally explain your product or service like you would to a 12 year old. Don't use any fancy words. That's it, straight and simple. Section three, how it works. You wanna make sure that you also demonstrate how the product works. You could use icons and minimal text for this. It should be understandable at a quick glance. In our example here, this section isn't a standalone one. The information is actually sprinkled throughout the other sections. So that's something you can also do. Another section is the brag bar, brag away. This is either a customer quote, a press quote, a few press logos, and so on. A good tip here is to make sure that the quotes you use, if you do use quotes, really push the value proposition of the product you're selling. Don't just use a generic quote that sounds cool about the brand. Do it with intent. Next, we have the shop section. This is now a couple of sections into the page. So now it's your turn to sell after educating the customer. You want this to include everything and show all the value someone's getting. Include the product photo, quantities, a coupon code if applicable, and highlight things with social proof. If this is a single product you're pushing, then the add to cart button in this section should drop the customer right into the cart with the product and coupon code already applied. Make this process of checking out as easy as possible. You could also add a comparison section. Why is your product better than the competitors? And who are the competitors that this customer might know of? Outline them in a visual chart and show them something that makes it obvious your product is better. But don't lie, be honest. Then there's the customer reviews section. There's no better social proof than actually showcasing customer reviews. Similar to the press quotes, Focus on pushing customer quotes that evangelize the benefits the customer had by using your product or service. If you're selling food and beverage, then another section you could use is ingredients. If you don't show ingredients and you sell a food and beverage product, you're losing out on a ton of people who will have immediate questions. Always include this section. And the last two sections, you can add another shop section, identical to the first one just to reinforce the message, and you have the footer section. And that's how you create a high converting landing page. It's a lot to take in and a lot of moving parts. But but if you take the time to go through all of them, you are already way ahead of the pack and a few steps closer of being in that top 10%. You get one chance to make a first impression. And that's why landing pages are so important. If you haven't already, check out the first video to know what mistakes to avoid when creating landing pages. And with that, thank you for watching and liking this video. Until next time.